Counting squares and triangles is one of the most popular math riddle on the internet. It is also asked in many competitive exams as well as in aptitude test for job interviews. Though you will find formulas and math tricks in many YouTube videos, we will focus more on the methodology in this video. One of the most important method to solve a problem, that you cannot solve, is to solve an easier problem. So we remove all the horizontal lines and make the problem easier. If you know how to solve it now, that's great. But if you cannot solve it even now, then remove all the confusing lines and start with a single triangle. Now that looks easy. For a single base triangle, the total number of triangles, T1, will be 1. For a two-part triangle, adding a line will create two more triangles. So. T2 will be, T1 plus 2, which is, 1 plus 2. Adding one more line from the vertex will make it a three-part triangle. This line will create three more triangles, to the existing ones. So, T3 will be, T2 plus 3, and so on. Tn will be, Tn minus 1, plus n. This series is basically the sum of first n natural numbers. As we know, this sum will be, n into, n plus 1, divided by 2. Now this sum, n into n plus 1 divided by 2 is also something else. This is n plus 1 choose 2 or total number of combinations of choosing 2 objects from n plus 1 object. Is this some random coincidence or both are similar process? If you pay attention, the top vertex is part of the all the large and smaller triangles. Now to form a triangle, we need two more points. So two points from the base and one vertex will form any of the triangle. The base of the triangle is divided into n parts so the number of points at the base are n plus 1. Out of these n plus 1 points we have to choose two points at a time and it will form a triangle along with the top vertex. This is basically n plus 1 choose 2 or n plus 1 c2. This equals to n plus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial and 2 factorial. This comes to n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Can you think of a reason why sum of first n natural numbers is equal to n plus 1 c2? What if we have horizontal lines in the triangle as well? Say a 5 base triangle has 4 horizontal lines. Can you count the total number of triangles? Give it a try. Here is the solution. As you would have noticed, each of the smaller triangle has the same number of vertices as the largest triangle. Each group of n part base triangles have one vertex at the top and n plus one vertices on the base. So each of them would have same number of total triangles. Also, none of these triangles are common to the triangles formed by different base. A five part triangle will have 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 15 triangles. Since there are four such triangles, we will have 4 multiplied by 15 equals 60 triangles. Let us now move to a tougher one. This math riddle was posted by the People's Daily, the largest news group of China. Can you find the number of triangles in this figure? Please pause the video and think of a way to get to the total number of triangles. One more thing, the answer is not 18. Focus on the vertex A. The base CF has three parts so it will have 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 6 triangles. There are three such triangles starting from A, ACF, ABI and ACI. So, they together have 18 triangles. Now there are two more subgroups. Triangles BCI and CFI are one part base triangles with three horizontal lines. So it will have 1 into 3 equals, 3 triangles. Similarly, CFI will also have 3 triangles. Thus, 
we will have a total of 18 plus 6 equals 24 triangles. Now there is a math riddle for you to solve. What if I add another line BL? Can you count the total number of triangles? Please try and share your answer in the comments. If you like the video don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can also send me math riddles at contact at epicworld.co.in. Thank you.